Hey guys, let's talk about starches. If you are following the starch solution or any whole food plant-based diet, then starches are going to be a huge part of what you eat every day. Starch is what keeps you full and keeps you satiated. And it is a thing that's going to keep you from binging and help you stay consistent on this lifestyle. So what kind of starches should we be eating to lose weight? A good distinction to learn is that all starches are carbs, but not all carbs are starches. So things that are extremely refined, like donuts, cookies, cake, those are not stuff that you will be eating to help you lose weight and stay full. We want to focus on things that are whole foods and that are lower on the calorie density scale. So what kind of foods are those? They are potatoes. Potatoes are the golden child of starches. I think that everybody loves potatoes. Um, I don't really know many people that don't like potatoes. You may be one of them. I'm sorry if you are, but they are one of the most satiating foods. I think actually the most satiating food when they did a study with all sorts of different types of foods. Um, a boiled russet potato was number one. So if you are looking to stay full and stay satiated, potatoes are a great addition to your diet. When we eat potatoes or cook them, we want to make sure we're cooking them without oil and not adding things that have a ton of fat in them. So no butter, sour cream, things that are really high in the calorie density. We also have sweet potatoes and there are a variety of sweet potatoes and the most common that you'll find depending on where you are is like a red or a jeweled sweet potato um, you have your white sweet potatoes and if you're lucky then you'll get your japanese sweet potatoes so they all differ a little bit in how to cook them and how dry they are it's just a preference so definitely try a few of them um, and then stock up if you keep them in a cool dark place you can keep them for a pretty long time and i just love having them they're so good and really easy to cook you just throw them in the oven and forget about them for a while <laughs> and then when you realize that you left the oven on you're just like oh i have dinner so i highly recommend joining the sweet potato fan club and then in the winter and autumn, you have your winter squashes and pumpkin, and they are so good to add to dishes or to stuff. I love a stuffed acorn squash. It is one of my favorites. As soon as October comes, I am just like biting at the bit, waiting for acorn squash to be at the store. Um, so you have a def a bunch of different varieties of squash new ones are coming out all the time or becoming more mainstream so definitely try a few if you aren't a big squash fan um you know a lot of them have different tastes and different textures uh like spaghetti squash very different texture than acorn squash or butternut squash so if you aren't really familiar with them. Try a diff couple different ones, watch a couple YouTube videos on how to cook them, but they are really low on the calorie density scale as far as starch goes. You could add quite a bit to bulk up your meals and stay really full. Next, we have wet starches. And wet starches are things like oats, rice, millet, barley, things that you need to like cook on the stove top with water. Each of them are going to require different cooking times and they all have different textures and tastes. So it's really finding something that you like. I tend to have a grain bowl every day and it really helps me stay satisfied and I can switch it up so I don't feel like I'm eating the same thing every day, which I actually don't mind if I do, but um, <laughs> I will switch it up a little bit by, you know, doing quinoa or barley, but often it's dictated about <laughs> with what my kids will eat and they don't like quinoa or barley. So I tend to eat a lot of just like jasmine rice or brown rice, um, just because it's the easiest thing for my family. But there are tons of varieties of grains out there that are low on the calorie density list that will help you meet your goals, keep you satiated and keep you consistent. Next we have pulses, which are beans and lentils. 
uh, peas and corn. I actually don't know if corn is on that list, but I just kind of lumped that in there because it seems to wear the place that it should go. So <laughs> beans are full of resistant starch, which helps you stay full. It helps regulate blood sugar and it is just good for heart health overall. They are great in dips. You can add them to soups. You can eat them in a grain bowl. I always add um, like hummus or black beans, something to my grain bowl. That way I can um, just make sure I'm getting enough protein every day, which I know it's not hard, but adding beans definitely helps, especially if you are active. There are other kinds of starches that are a little more processed that will help you meet your goals. You just wanna use them sparingly and if you are at a point where you're really trying to fine tune your um, eating or diet to get to a certain weight, you will limit these a little bit more. But things like pasta or pizzas, even if it's whole wheat, those are a little like higher calorie density. And so they are just going to like you want, those are higher calorie density. And so you won't be able to eat as much of them, um, before you hit the limit of, you know, being in a calorie deficit or not. So I love pasta. I don't ever get full eating pasta, <laughs> which is not super great, but I will eat it. I make it for my kids every week. And when I do, I always eat some, I usually will eat it with a sweet potato. I will make up one or two sweet potatoes and I will put it on my plate with a thing of pasta and I'll eat the pasta first, then I'll eat my sweet potatoes and then I am good. I don't need to go back for seconds for, you know, like the spaghetti or anything. So that's just kind of a hack that I have found that works for me. Um, if I let myself just have pasta for dinner, it doesn't matter how many vegetables I add to it, I will just eat too much of it. I do not get full eating noodles, so I have to be careful when it comes to pasta, but I do eat it still. Hopefully that information helps. If you are looking for good starches to eat, really just keep it simple. Keep with what you know. Um, if you want to try something different, definitely try it, but don't think that you need to go out and buy a big bag of barley if you've never had barley and you know make a big dish. Um, keep it as simple as possible, but just find something that you like that keeps you full and makes you want to eat more of it every day. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.